All right, hey, what's up, people? And we're gonna update, not update, but we're gonna launch Homebrew on the new update, 11.1.0-34. And I'm not even updated yet, so I'm gonna show you guys. I'm not even updated. So I'm gonna update my 3DS and I'm gonna show you it works on the newest version. So I have 11.0.0. Dash 33. So I'm gonna update it. Alright, let's go to system update. Alright, so it's updating. And once we do this, we basically lose homebrew, but since there was an update on um, OTT hacks, it's gonna work. So this method is for OTT hacks, guys, nothing else. I mean, browser hacks is patched, uh, menu hacks is patched, from what I know, so I'll keep you guys updated, just in case. I mean, there's two methods of work, uh, making OTT hacks work. If it didn't work with the newest update that they brought for, for us to launch Homebrew, then there's another way, but since it's been updated, I'm not going to show you that harder route, so let's get ready here. Okay, so I guess you could see I'm gonna be in the newest update 11.1. Here it is 11.1.034. Okay. All right, so we're gonna come to the homebrew launcher and we're gonna come here to the Legend of Zelda Karina Time. Make sure you download the homebrew starter kit. All right, click on the homebrew starter kit. Perfect. Let's jump folder. So I have a couple of them, but it's this one right here. Extract. All right. And we're done here. Now let's click on Yellow's A repository. Now this is the latest release, so <clears throat> September 15, 2016. So we're gonna click on this one right here, the first link. All right, perfect. All right, let's open this one and let's extract it. I'm using WinRAR, guys, so I suggest you download this. I don't know about Mac, I'm not sure what software is available enough in order to unzip files. Okay, so now we're done here, all right. Now remove your SD card. Just put in your computer. Make sure you have an SD card reader. And now you just go buy one. All right. Before we do this, let's open up power saves. And let's create a backup. I suggest, guys, important that you guys create a backup of your save file, of your original save file. So this is my... I just put OG whatever, just something simple. So this is my original file, and these are files that I already tested out that make sure it works. So make sure you create a backup of your file. So for instance, if you wanna play Ocarina of Time, you could just select it and then just restore. And if you wanna homebrew off it, you could just select the homebrew file and just click restore, and then you could just switch on and off. So everything's good to go. So. I'm just gonna restore it just in case I haven't restored it. All right, so that's that's pretty quick. So the file should be good to go. All right, now we're gonna create a backup, and I'm gonna name this one uh, just something simple. I'm just gonna name it Best Buy, like the store. And there you go, Best Buy is already created. All right, I'm gonna minimize this. Do not close it. Minimize this, and let's go to our downloads. Make sure you ha have your SD card on your computer, because we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be putting the new starter, the homebrew starter kit. I don't know, it might be updated, it might not be. So I suggest you download it just to update it if it has been updated. So let's, I'm gonna go to my documents. I'm gonna go to my downloads. I'm gonna go to my starter here. Where's my starter? All right. As you can see, you're gonna get. 3ds starter themes 
two. So you're gonna get three folders and a file. So drag all these to your SD card. And we're gonna, if you already have them, just click replace. Just gonna write over them. Okay, should take about 10 seconds. All right, perfect. Now we could remove our SD card and put it back to your 3DS. And everything should be good to go. I suggest you shut down your 3DS and power it back up because sometimes the 3DS does not read the SD card properly. And once you try to launch Homebrew, I'll give you a throw an error. And yeah, so once you reboot it, whatever, everything should be good to go. All right, so we're done here. All right, last step right here. We're gonna go to our downloads. Let's go to OTT hacks. So today's date. I already have two of them for today's date, but there's the latest one I downloaded. 316 p.m. <clears throat> All right. When I click on this one, save images, power saves. And then you see these two folders here. All right. You click on one. It's going to have the same thing as the second one. All right. This is very important, guys, because there's people that always ask me, oh, um, I was get a rest screen or my 3DS corrupted. I mean, my game corrupted. So if one doesn't work, for instance, there's two right here. Car, car, car did uh, 45 FE. That's one. And C2F, that's another one. But they contain the same files, just probably, um, what do you call it, coded differently. So if one of these do not work, try the other one. For me, I know this one always works, the C2FE. So I'm gonna go with the USA. And if that crashes my, my game, corrupted, I would try this one right here, 45 FB, and select your region, all right? So I'm, keep that in mind. All right, so I'm gonna select the C2F. I mean, if you're in USA and you have the, the new 3DS and all 3DS, 2DS, make sure you use, make sure you follow what I'm doing. And if you're using um, other region, if this does not work, then try this one right here, the 45 FB. All right, so I'm gonna go with the USA, and as you can see, we're gonna select that last file right here for USA. This one. So I was gonna. It's usually the last one. So new 3DS is the last file before post five, which is the old 3DS and 2DS file. So make sure you select the last one here. All right, have your new 3DS. And if you're all 3DS, 2DS, make sure you select this last one right here. All right, so I'm gonna select this one right here. I'm gonna open up another, I'm gonna go to the power saves real quick right here. I'm gonna go to local disk C drive. I'm gonna go to users and do not click, click on public. You have two folders right here. Click on the first one. And we're gonna go to power saves. And now, we're gonna drag this last one right here, post five. That's for 2DS and 3DS. And for the new 3DS, you're gonna drag this one to the power saves, all right? So let's drag this one here. That's for the old 3DS and 2DS. I'm gonna rename this one. Um, I don't know, I guess I'll rename it <laughs> Walmart or something. All right, and all right, let's go. To all right, we renamed that one. Now let's go to our power saves and remember what you renamed your backup file. So Best Buy. All right. Okay. Okay, let's look for it. Uh, okay. It should be this one. All right. I'm going to click it. It's going to automatically highlight it for you. Just right click. We're going to go to copy and then just rename it to whatever doesn't matter perfect now let's go back to that file where is it the one that we got from the ott hacks i renamed it walmart i'm gonna sell all right it's gonna automatically highlight for you 
hit backspace and then paste and there you go so we're done here pretty easy right all right last thing right here select best buy or whatever <laughs> it's funny uh select and whatever you renamed click restore and if it doesn't throw an error then you should then you should be good to go all right and this should work pretty quick all right so is this one right here this this is the one that post u 26624 that's the one for me i mean I already tried these and those are the older files and it works all right so once you restore you should see something like this and all right let's give it a let's give ocarina time a, a shot and let's see if it works all right Next, let me let me make the screen large here. All right, and here's Ocarina of Time. And as you guys can see, your game is pretty much deleted. Every file that you create is deleted. So make sure you create a backup of your game, even though you try to. Even though you try to create a new thing, it's gonna it's gonna crash. Can you try to? What the hell? For some for some reason, it used to it used to crash on me all the time. I guess they fixed the issue, so I guess it works. But I still I still suggest you create a backup. Because when I would try to create a, a new file just to see if it worked, it, it would have crashed the game for me. Like, it wouldn't even create the file. Uh, Alright, let's click on the hacks. You see hacks. And then your whole data delete it. Alright, let's click start. You should, you're going to be started here. Alright, now I'll press A. Do not press nothing else because it's going to crash. And Rob, and then you're gonna see once you see the white screen on the bottom, then you're golden. Right. And then the homebrew is launched. That's it, guys, and it works. And you should be good to go. I have all these shit right here, but yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on the newest uh, updates for like browser hacks, um, uh, base hacks for Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. And all that good stuff. Other than that, thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to support my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a good one, guys.